On the outskirts of China's largest desert, the Taklamakan, a drill weighing 2,000 tons is boring a hole into the earth. The shaft will extend 11,000 meters beneath the surface, among the deepest in the world. China's state-owned oil producer is behind the ambitious project. This year, we've drilled 37 super-deep shafts, and 14 of them have a depth of more than 8,000 meters. The average depth in this area is near 7,100 meters, the deepest among all of China's oil fields. Super-deep drilling has become the main way for us to increase production. The company says Project Deep Earth is expected to be completed in just 457 days. Scientists say the borehole will reach the Cambrian strata of the Earth's crust, which dates back more than 500 million years. This will open up new research areas and provide it with valuable information about the evolution of the Earth. China is looking for energy resources. It's the world's second largest consumer of oil and gas. And the discovery of new oil fields will reduce dependence on foreign suppliers. Currently, it imports more than 70 percent of its oil, much of it from Saudi Arabia and sanction-hit Russia. The problem is its, its consumption is huge. It's uh, 15 million barrels a day, uh, roughly, of, of what they're consuming, which is, you know, almost, uh, we're talking about 15 percent of the global total there. So, you know, that's quite a big, uh, a, a quite a big delta there in the amount of crude that they need to bring in uh, versus what they produce. This borehole is the second in the world to exceed a depth of 10 kilometers. The deepest is the Kola in Russia. In comparison, that project took 20 years to drill beyond 12,000 meters. In 2016, President Xi Jinping listed deep earth exploration as one of the four focus areas for scientific research. The other three are deep sea, deep space, and what the government refers to as the deep blue, or information technology. For Chinese leaders, investing in these industries is an important step towards becoming more self-reliant. Tensions with the West, especially the US, have shown that it can be dangerous to depend on other countries for essential materials, forcing it to dig deep. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.